So I was just sent a package by a guy on YouTube named Rune Picker. Go check him out. He does stuff. Gonna use our pocket knife here and uh, open this up. See what he sent. This may end up being a cut video because he said there. I might need to make something for a tensioner. <clears throat> so there's that. And I don't particularly see what I need to do special to tension. There is a key, but it's hidden. I don't see. Maybe. Maybe he's thinking, because there is a little bit of weirdness going on up top. Little tiny bit of wibbly wobbly keyway stuff. But we'll see what we get. Says bird on a wire. Let us grab my very fine little hook there. So I've got a a decent hook, and let's see. See if I can get a grab on the. Oh boy. Yeah? This might be. Oh. This looked easy. It may not be easy. It may be easy. See what we get. That's a false. Very, very false, false. That's definitely something. So this will be my first picked challenge lock. Because I have not picked any before. So I built him one. And I wanted my own in return. Because I have not yet participated in the challenge lock scene. I was told it should be pretty easy, it's just blue. But I also told him that it was a normal master lock. And definitely not. There's a click that uh, appears to be one or two. The saying needs no tension. No tension at all. Oh, this is... This is not nice. Everything feels rock solid and setting things, there's no setting. So so I'm sitting here just reefing on the pins, right? And nothing is happening. Nothing. It's giving me a little counter rotation, but that's about it. I did no research on this, so. And I've been purposely avoiding the channel in case it came across his channel. Which it probably did. I 
feel zero super springs or anything bad. That's a little bit of a turn. Oh. So that needs to be set. And I've now dropped something else somewhere. Let's pin one again. Oops, something went. It's so close. Scary part is, is, oh, is that? Uh, never mind. Maybe, maybe that's just something binding in the back. So there's a piece of wire on the back of this lock that's bugging me that makes me nervous taking it straight out of the box. So I don't know how I'm gonna put this together or take this apart without breaking his end. There we go. <sighs> that was kind of not fun. But it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. It should be... Should be a good guy. So there's a piece of wire through the back. I don't want to break it. But I do have more copper wire in the case that this doesn't go back to the way it was. Set it up right there. Okay. So that worked. Normal, not normal, very not normal, normal, very not normal. And this, ooh, serrated spool, or mushroom I would say, a little more mushroomy. What the... This has no spring tension at all. It's just a tiny wafer. That is a pretty deep serrated. Another serrated, this is actually a serrated spool, kind of cockeyed cut. Might give you a little weird feedback. And I lost that one, I will find it. It was a normal pin, it looked like. Ah, oh, it's right in front of me. Uh, camera bump. I need to stop gutting things on this wooden table because wooden tables are very slick. So I'm assuming and then I need to flip these guys. So I'm assuming it was like this. So that's what we were dealing with there. Just a bunch of nastiness, but not too terrible, not too bad at all. That was our bird on a wire Yale.
thanks for that. Love that lock. And uh, go check out his channel. He does just challenge locks. Just challenge locks, it seems. We'll see you in the next video.